You're watching the COP TV, the voice of football's most famous stand. Welcome back to the COP TV, voice of football's most famous, Dan. Um, just before we get into all the negative stuff, because there was enough of it, and we're obviously still reacting to this just as it's happened, I just want to say congratulations to that Liverpool team, the Warriors. I'm giving them so much credit for holding on, not only an hour with 10 men, but probably 40 minutes with nine men. And um, the way those boys fought for each other, the heart, the passion, the desire. Klopp asked for this. Yeah. So I'm not going to say anything bad about Liverpool players. The only thing I could maybe say is someone needs to have Paul Jota and say, you know, you can't be doing that. But the first one wasn't a yellow. So it's a difficult situation. It's probably the cruelest game I've ever watched yeah. in my life in terms of Pain. how it's ended. Um, great goal. Great two goals that we scored. Obviously, one didn't stand. But we started off the game, we were in control of it. A um, couple of early scares, I guess, but we came through it. Um, we go 1-0 down. Well, we get a red card first. Let's start off chronologically. And then we'll get on to the refs who the start, deserve we'll sacking. Start. Every single person involved today deserves to be sacked and relieved from their duties. But the first flash point was the red card. The ball is won by Curtis, but I guess in hindsight, unfortunately for him, he's won the ball and the kind of momentum has, has gone over and, and has hit Basuma up high, but then the referee goes to the screen. First thing he sees is they've paused it on the, the moment of impact and not the whole thing. So, I guess, talk about that. Yeah, it's one of them. It's an orange in it, lad. All the forces went into the ball and then his foot went over the top of the ball and it has hit him in an unfortunate position. So, I, do you know what? I can sort of say, OK, I can let that one go, OK? Third yellow card in seven games. I can let it red go. Red card. You yeah, mean. I'm sorry, red card in, in, in seven games. Yeah, I can let it go. But then we go on to the game and we score. Yeah, we score a wonderful goal with Luis Diaz. We're 10 men down, lads. Yeah, beautiful finish. Looks like we've scored it, made up. Go back to it, doing a VAR check. Why are you doing a VAR check? It's definitely on side. We've seen it with our own two eyes. Like I can see with the naked eye that's on side. Don't check it properly. Don't show us the lines. Talk about 30 minutes checking for the red card for Curtis Jones, but didn't take any time whatsoever for the offside. Turns out, oh, it's miles onside. So we've been robbed of a goal there. And then we're moving on. Tottenham have got more of the ball now because there's 10, there's 10 men on, on our side. So they can play the football if they want to play. And they're playing all right. Yeah, fair play to them. Madison looked dangerous. Son looked even dangerous in the first half. And they scored. Fair play to them. They took advantage of the extra man and they scored. Right? So... So half time now, right? We're going to rejig of, of the whole team and try and think of a different tactic. So Klopp's telling them whatever. Come out to the second half, boss, right? They've got more of the ball. We expect that and we're going to hit them on the counter. That's what we're expecting, right? So we brought Jota on in, in place of Gakpo because he's got a little injury. Jota is running back. He's running at a normal pace. The lad in front of him has ran across his body and as he's ran across his body, he's tipped his leg. And when I say a minuscule, he must have hit his stud. So well, the replays on. actually show Adogi's tripped over himself. There you go. So he's kicked himself and has fallen there over. There we go. And so he's got a yellow um, car for that. And then about three minutes later, he's, he's stuck with the ball in the corner. Someone's pinched it off him and he has lashed out there. And he's give that was a yellow card. I've got to hold my hands up and say it was. But he previously shouldn't have had the yellow card anyway. So there's a second red card for us. Great. So now the lads are at nine men down. And you've got to play against a new Tottenham, an expansive Tottenham one that likes to play attack and football. And they've still got Madison and Son on the pitch. They couldn't do nothing. They literally put a lot, we put a low block down there and they fought so valiantly that Tottenham couldn't get a look in, not a single look in. And actually, we looked quite deadly on the counter, so we could have possibly scored and we looked like a threat still with nine men, still. Um, and then we go on through the game. And it ends the way you've seen it, which is a 2-1, with Matip unfortunately scoring an own goal after one of their 700th cross. And it was just an unfortunate end to the game. It's a really cruel, cruel end to the game. And you can't help but walk away from that and just go, that wasn't fair. It wasn't. And I'll tell you why it wasn't. Because Liverpool with 11 men beat that Spurs team. They do. If we were allowed to have a proper go at that game, you would have seen a much better football match. But you didn't because the referees took that away from us and it took away from all the neutrals. Now, I know there's going to be people happy that Liverpool have lost today, particularly for Tottenham fans. But 
I just can't, I can't forget about these these referee decisions. And it doesn't just happen to Liverpool. We're not saying that. We're not creating some echo chamber for some agenda against Liverpool. It's not just that. It's just poor refereeing as a whole. And we've seen so many decisions like this. There was one similar in the Arsenal game last season against Brentford. They should be checking the lines. As simple as that. The, the excuse that they've given, right, and I've seen it now what they said, right? They've said... They wanted to keep the game moving along and they want to make sure there's not as much extra time anymore, so they're trying to do it at a fast pace. So my reply to that is, it doesn't take but 15 seconds to put a line across them lads' legs to check yeah. if it's offside. And they haven't. And now we're walking away with a defeat, could have been top of the league today, and it does just feel like, oh, I want to put my tin foil hat on and just say there's something against Liverpool right now, because four yellow cards in seven games, a disallowed red goal, card. sorry, red card, four red cards in seven games, and we've just had a goal disallowed that should have been should have stood. And who knows? Who knows what would have happened in that game if we took the lead there? Maybe they don't get their goal. It's just been a complete fast today. It really has, but nothing to do with the Liverpool lads. Yeah. And I love them honestly. If anything, it's given me a little bit of hope going into the season because if you can perform that well with ten men and nine men, and you have done it already this season, imagine what we're going to do with the eleven men. And all I've got to say to the rest of the league is we're fucking coming lads we are coming for you no matter what now we are going to have that fight in our belly to try and come back and get to this top of the league again lads I'm not saying we're going to win the league but we're going to be there or thereabouts and we're not going to forget this type of result and the, the league fighting against us mate we will be back I promise you and I can't wait for Brighton away now I can't wait lads because we need some time uh, we need some type of redemption and today I wanted to get a result not because of Spurs but to spite the Premier League and the referee, and I really wanted that result. Even a 1-1 would have been happy with in the end. But Sorry to rant, lad, but you, I know you all feel what I'm feeling right now. I'd, I'm struggling to even look, <sighs> face the camera right now because... It's just robbery, lad. The angry kind of vibes after that. Going back to what you said about um, the first red card, I guess we could have accepted that in a way. But the second one, obviously the first um, foul, you can clearly see on the replay. Give him a chance, lads. clips himself on the back and goes down. So when you go down to two men, you're thinking what a result one all would be, even though that was unjust because, again, Diaz's goal <coughs> was... Diaz's goal was not only onside, but to the naked eye we saw it was onside, but also the European and American broadcasters like Canal Plus, which um, Stan Collymore was on, he's taken a picture of his studio showing the, the green line saying it was onside. So if they're getting that in America, why are we not getting that same treatment? Why are they not drawing lines? Why are they definitely, definitely against Liverpool in, in so many key decisions this season? Before the season, we'd gone five seasons in a row under Klopp, uh, receiving the Fair Play Award, no red cards throughout the whole season. Now we've had four. One of them's been rescinded, which shows that was a bad mistake from the refs. The two today are questionable. And obviously Van Dijk had his extended as well for saying it's an absolute effing joke when you've got players like Wilson and, and Pickford who are calling the refs effing this, P-word that, pricks and, and whatnot. So um, I'm going to say it. The referee needs to be sacked for today. It was the worst performance I've ever seen a referee uh, give in the Premier League. And we've come away with absolutely nothing. I don't even want to talk about how we lost the game um, because... There's no way I'm trying to blame Joel Matip for anything. No way, lads. If anything, it got to the stage where I was almost about to say they could play for two more hours and they still wouldn't score no, against lads. us because we went to a five, kind of three. Because we only had eight outfield players at one point. Alisson, best goalkeeper in the world, obviously. Um, what a performance today, by the way. Just incredible lads, from our him. Our best player he is. But now there has to be a repercussion. We don't want to hear an apology. What we now need to see is, as you said, whoever was on the VAR, whoever was the referee, needs to first of all be dropped whilst there's an in investigation. That's we don't want apologies, we now need Sachin's, investigations but there into needs to be a new why. System. And this new system could be, right, you had zero contentious decisions this yeah. game, so you get to exactly. ref the next game. Yeah. Sorry, mate, you had an absolute howler last week, you Sorry, will not you be refereeing yeah, this game. Damn right. Because if that happens in office, if I had a bad stream on, on DR, they're saying, if I've said something crazy on DR, they're saying, listen, we're going to investigate this, stay at home Lad, for if week. Curtis Jones has a bad game, Klopp takes him off, lad, and replaces him with another player. Exactly. Sport is a meritocracy, no, that's what it is. There's no doubt in my mind that with 11 players on that field, we show our class by the end of the game and win the game. 2-1, 3-1. Even with um, 10, I think we could have won that. Even with 10, 
you know, we, we could have still won it. Let's not, like, I'm, I just want to say this, right? Spurs did not win on their merits. They won because of everything that was gifted to them today. Even our goal, the own goal at the end, it was because it was of us. We scored it for them. Yeah. There just needs to be a change of system. Nobody needs to be sacked. I don't... Lively no, and all I'm that, like people, that's their, jobs, like, that's their jobs, but, 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 but there needs to be a change in system so that to if somebody mistake, leaves, that catastrophic, I get it, there I has get to it. be an investigation, you either chose, you saw it was onside and you chose to give it offside, which yeah. would suggest there's some agenda or corruption, Either competence or, or latency. you're that stupid that you've actually missed it, so therefore if, you're, if you've got an agenda or you're that stupid that you've not seen it, you literally do not qualify to make that decision in front of the world. There needs to be a punishment. There's probably a billion people watching that and you've, in the front of the world, yeah, there needs to be a punishment. The punishment for us is we've walked away with nothing after a really good performance. Exactly, that's the point. Really that's good why performance. there needs to be a punishment on either side because now we could be top of the league, we could have been and we're not because of these decisions that were made today. Simple as that. So there needs to be some kind of, you've made far bad decisions like you're going to the championship for a month. That's what needs to happen. I don't know. I'm not the decision maker, but somebody needs to jig this up and change it because the margin of error is still huge. It's still happening, lads, so we need to change it. I don't know what we're supposed to do, lads. I really don't. Because that was horrible, lad. I'm getting really don't, text anyway. from Tottenham fans. Yeah. It's just... Shameless. 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 Proper shameless. Anyway, listen, we're going to wrap it up there. Um, it was all promising to be such a great day, a great evening, and it's been ruined by the referees. So, listen, if, if, if Tottenham want to claim that as a win, go ahead and do it. They've not beaten us since 2017. But if you're Liverpool tonight... Angry isn't even the word. If I'm honest with you, I want to smash up this whole studio. <laughs> like, I want to tear it all he down, doesn't. smash He's the not TV, smash the light, smash the camera. But what's the point? Jurgen Klopp, even in his interview, said, I would say what I feel, but it's too expensive. Because he knows if he says what he feels, there's going to be a fine. And then the referees are once again covered. And that's the point. There needs um, to be a voice for this, for what we're feeling right now, because this is an injustice. And just it to is. be, once again, really clear, this is not just a Liverpool thing. This no. happens to Man City, Man United. Uh, obviously, the, the big teams team, do get favourable decisions, but every to. single team, you can name them all in the Premier League, they've all had a decision like this. That's just wrong. So it's going to take, I don't know what it's going to take for Different me to, to, um, to get over that because I've never witnessed a, a crueler ending to a football match than that. Um, if you can, sum it up in the comments, try. I need to sit down and call, call out because pff, yeah, I'm fuming too. I, I have no words for that at the end. Like, Laurie didn't help. He's the biggest troll. <laughs> he shouldn't be getting jobs like that. He should be sacked as well. <laughs> um, but listen, man, I don't even know how to end this. I'm smiling because if, if you don't smile, you will cry and kill everyone within a mile radius. So um, I'm just going to walk away, I think. Like, comment and subscribe. Thanks for watching this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Please, guys, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the Cop TV. The voice of, of football's, football's most, most famous, famous stand. stand.